Stone State Sports, a division of Stone State Entertainment presents Southern Columbia Football as they host the Berwick Bulldogs. Tonight's game brought to you by Club On Insurance Group, 426 West Valley Avenue, Wheelysburg. Best Cleaners, the leaders in keeping it clean. And the Nickel Plate Bar and Grill, the spot for football Fridays. Coming up next, the starting lineups and kickoff with Sean Zielinski and Scott Fabrizio. Southern Columbia, Berwick, live on Stone State Sports. Hi, I just bought a home. Do you have home insurance? Sure. Hey, I got a car. Do you do car insurance? Sure. Hey, I have a life. Do you have life insurance? Sure. Are you sure? Chad, I'm sure. Thanks, Club On Insurance Group. Club On Insurance Group. Putting the sure in insurance. From a simple floor cleaning to a major water extraction project, Best Cleaners will meet your every need. Best Cleaners uses the latest technology to make sure you have the quickest and most efficient cleanup experience. Help is just a call or click away. 570-672-9114. BestCleanersLLC.com and on Facebook, residential and commercial. Make your life a little bit easier with Best Cleaners. Great food. Great drinks. Casual dining elegance. The Nickel Plate Bar and Grill at Knoebels Three Ponds Golf Course, Route 487, Healysburg. Join the Nickel Plate under the tailgate tent for Football Fridays. Kickoff begins at 7 o'clock and we'll be serving food and beverages until the final whistle blows. Bring your Tiger Card for a free pretzel rail appetizer with your $25 purchase. Good evening and welcome to the campus of Southern Columbia High School for the 2021 season opener between Southern Columbia and the Bulldogs of Berwick. We are back for another season of Southern Columbia football brought to you by Stone State Sports on YouTube. I'm Sean Zielinski alongside me Scott Fabrizio and Chad Evans. And Scott, let's just get right to it. Berwick and Southern Columbia, two teams that need no introduction when it comes to high school football. You cannot talk Eastern Pennsylvania football or even Pennsylvania football in general without not with not mentioning these two teams. Yeah, Berwick, Berwick and Southern Columbia have combined for 17 state titles between the two schools. Berwick has been mentioned three times as a USA Today <clears throat> three-time national champion. Both of these programs have produced some pretty good football players throughout the years. Guys like Ron Paulus, Bo Orlando, Julian Fleming out there in Ohio State, Henry Hynoski for the Giants, and many more. But tonight, I think that tradition is going to continue for both of these teams. You know, Sean, right away I have to look at, you know, obviously I'm going to the linemen. You know, right now this game is now. you got to look at 
with Berwick, you got Cunningham and you got Blockus. They have the tough, toughest assignment of taking on the defensive end, Jake Rose. Burlitz coming off a great year. Jake Rose having a great end of the season. Came on strong. State champion in track. Here we go. It's it's one on the line. You know that. Yeah, not to mention those guys, but let's talk about that backfield. You got Garcia with Slosky and Barnes. Any one of those guys can make big plays at any moment of the game. So I think Berwick's going to have their hands full. But talking with Coach Carm this week, he said, we got some guys that can play football as well. One of those guys he talked about was his quarterback. Transfer from Hazelton, number 12, Matt Lachinsky. He said, this guy's got a lot of talent. He said the potential in this kid is almost comparable to Ron Paulus. Not that he's Ron Paulus, but he said this kid could be something special for these Bulldogs. It's a, that's a great comparison. Ron Paulus, you know, obviously Notre Dame fan, go Irish. Went there, got to see him, meet him, great guy. Hey, as we get set for kickoff, we're going to meet some of the starters. Starting lineups today brought to you by Brian G. Persing Masonry, proud builder of the 99 Steps Project in Shimokin. They specialize in hardscapes and pavers. Concrete, stone, brickwork, and block work. You can contact them on Facebook or on their website at BrianGPersingMasonry.co. Not .com, but .co. Or give them a call, 570-847-2479. Brian G. Persing, we do masonry. Well, it looks like the Tigers are going to receive the opening kickoff. Burwick's getting set to kick off. Kicker for Berwick's going to be number 65. Looks like Bruce Hartman. Hartman coming in at a whopping 6'1", 215 pounds. I'll tell you what, Berwick has some nice-sized kids. That's the first thing I noticed going to the linemen. They have some big big guys up front. They're going to have their hands full all, all night. You know what, Scott? Before we start, we might as well mention some guys that never really get a lot of attention, but if they do, it's usually negative. Let's talk about some of the referees tonight. <laughs> Head referee, Kerry Latshaw. The umpire, James Delbaugh. Linesman, Dave Reiner. Line judge, Deacon Klein. Back judge, Stephen Krasuki. And the field judge, Steve Krasuki. So we want to give those guys a shout-out. We know it's not going to be a tough environment when Berwick and Southern Columbia decide to clash heads on a Friday night. Those are definitely people that don't get their name mentioned often. Back deep, Garcia and Wislowski. This one taken by the younger Garcia, Garrett. He takes it over the 30-yard line. Good contact. Brought down by a few Berwick Bulldogs. Takes it out to about the 33. And out comes the senior quarterback, Leon Klebon, to lead this charge. Klebon coming off his 2020 state title season last year as he took over the reins about week three or four for the Tigers. You know, I think he, he gained a lot of confidence coming into this year. Last year, maybe he started off a little shaky. But I think this year he gained that experience, gained that confidence, and let it go. Well, the starters on offense for the Tigers, the running backs need no introduction. Garcia, Wislowski, and Barnes will head the backfield. Wide receivers, you got two tall guys out there, and Jake Rose and Jake Toslowski. Tight end's going to be Ryan Kerstetter. And we'll get to the lineman here in a second as this one goes to Garcia to the right side. Breaks a few tackles, still on his feet, still on his feet. Brought down just about the, looks like the 37, 38 yard line. Garcia picks up a few yards, but Berwick aggressive to the football. Offensive line for the Tigers, three returning starters. Joe Quinton at left guard, Carson Savitsky at left tackle, and Chris Tressock at the right tackle. Gabe Leffler, a senior at the center position. And of course, Brett Horton at the right guard, only a junior. Lone back is, looks like it's going to be Barnes. Motion, Wislowski takes it to the left side. Hit by oh, fumble. fumble on the play. Picked up, picked up by Berwick, number eight, Tajay Taylor. Wislowski took the handoff on the jet sweep, and about three Bulldogs put their helmets on him, and that ball came loose. These fans brought it today. It's great to see the, fan back, the fans back here. This crowd is hot. This crowd is hot. You know, we've seen a couple of Berwick Bulldog fans wear those old school shirts that says Wetsu. There you go. And that stands for We Eat This Stuff Up. Hey. So the Berwick <laughs> defense right now is just eating up the Tigers as they force the first turnover of the game. And that offense will take the field. Carm Francesco sends out the troops. Looks like they're going to go in a shotgun set is Lashinsky. The lone back to his right looks like number five, Ryan Banks. Slots to his left, handoff's gonna go to Banks to the left side, he's got some room. Takes this one down to about the 33 yard line of Southern Columbia. About a three yard, four yard pickup right there. I wanna say Garrett Garcia was in on the tackle for the Tigers. So it's gonna bring up second down and seven for Berwick. 
That was if a three yard pickup. If up. you're just joining us, the score is 0 0. And Southern Columbia, with Slosky on a jet sweep, was hit pretty hard. Ball was coughed up, recovered by Tajay Taylor. Brings up a second down and seven. Slots to the left, tight wing to the right. Motion now will go his slot receiver. Lashinsky hands off again. And now the Tigers swarm that one. Trying to get a number on that for you. I think it's 32 for the Tigers. That's going to be Dominic Federoff. Look at that. you got a got a freshman making it in there. Yeah, so Garrett Garcia was a freshman last year starting a middle linebacker. Now we see Federoff coming up and making a nice aggressive hit. Going to bring up third down and six for Berwick on their opening possession. Shotgun set will go. Lashinsky. now he's got... Two receivers to each side, an even set. Lone back to the left is going to be Banks. Snap is back. Lashinsky looks. He's got a little time. Quick out to the flats. Might be a little short as he's brought down by number 19 on the play. Ashton Helwig from that safety position. Came up, made a nice tackle there. That ball's going to be spotted exactly on the 30-yard line. I think Berwick's going to be just shy. Brings fourth up and fourth two. Fourth and two. What are you going to do, Sean? What are you doing? I think you're going to go for it. It's a no-brainer. You know, sometimes, you, what do you want to do? Do you want to knock on the door, or you just want to kick the thing in? I think you have no choice but decide to kick it in because when you're playing Southern Columbia, take advantage of the opportunities given. 9.20 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia 0, Berwick 0. Fourth and three on Berwick's first possession after a big turnover. What you, Ball what is placed on the 30-yard line once again. It's going to be a tight trips to the left with that tight wing. Lashinsky in the gun. Oh. Oh. Didn't quite see what happened, but I, see, I did see Burlitz coming off the edge. That's one guy I don't want to see coming off the edge at six foot two, 246 pounds. It was a delay a game or a false start? I didn't see the didn't ref. See the call? I didn't. I didn't see the call either. I was looking over here at you, and I'm a lot. We have a little bit of delay here. Let's talk about Mar Development. With over 40 years' experience, Mar Development Heating and Cooling is able to tackle any of your residential or commercial HVAC needs. For repair, installation, maintenance, and 24-hour emergency service, call Mar Development Heating and Cooling or on their website, Ooh. mardevelopmenthvac.com. This one goes down inside the 15. That's a nice punt as this one's going to be spotted right at the 13-yard line. So Southern Columbia will take over with their second possession with 8.55 remaining in the first quarter. Berwick 0, Southern 0. And here comes that hard-hitting defense of the Berwick Scots. Let's see how they Hold respond. Let's, let's see how they respond. They caused the turnover. First possession, Southern unlikely had a turnover right there. Let's see how they can answer back. You know, I'm just going to go on a limb here and say, I'm not sure Wislowski was hit that hard all last season. No. I mean, his head kind of whipped back, and he lost the ball. Those Berwick's, ha those, those happen. Hey, Berwick's here to play some football. Those things happen. Two back set will go, looks like Barnes and Wislowski, or a, this one goes to Barnes. Excuse me, Barnes off to the left side. He's got some room. Looks like he picks up the first down. Great job of getting his pad level down there, taking on bit. the contact and keeping his feet churning for that first down. At least from my angle, it looks like a first down. No, no, I think you're second and short. Looks like second and short. Maybe. But, you know, Sean, going back to it again, though, what you see is you see the lineman blocking downfield. They engage, they hold their blocks, and they work down to the next level. Behind, In front of every great running back is an even better offensive line. You ain't lying there. Barnes and Garcia backs again with Wislowski wing right. Klebon takes the snap. This one goes to Garcia. He's got a little room, shakes and bakes his way up the middle, still on his feet. Looks like he'll pick up the first down. The ball did come loose. What are they doing? Not sure what they're going to rule it on the play. The referee saying it. it's a dead ball. First down, Rolling Southern Columbia. Down. So we're used to Garcia keeping plays alive with his, with his strength, but maybe in that situation it's good to go down. Sometimes you, you, you fight for that extra yard and those things happen. The ball pops out, somebody grabs it. Catch 22, you know, you want to get that extra yard, but you got to maintain, got to secure the ball. Split to the right, senior receiver Jake Rose, two-wing set, Barnes the lone back. Kleb on under center, looks as Rose. He's going to look down the to Rose's oh side. Rose is going to catch the ball. Oh. oh, he got it. Still on his feet, just in, just wow. about to the 32-yard line of Berwick. I'm, call, I'm calling it out now. Randy Moss, look at these games. Watch this kid. You missed the You Got Moss last year. This year, you better not miss it. So Southern Columbia, excuse me, Southern Columbia, 
runs a two vertical route. Garcia runs the seam route from his wing position, but Rose just beat his defender right off the line, and Klebon, give him credit. That was a great throw. Beautiful throw by Klebon. I mean, it's going to be very tough to, co to cover Jake Rose. Gold medalist in track. Two back set DSSP. again, Garcia and Barnes. This one's going to go to Garcia to the right side. He cuts inside, met by a host of Bulldogs. Boy, a big hit on Berwick there is Dre Wilk it, it's coming up and laying a stick on Garcia. It's really nice to see Berwick definitely swarms through the ball. You're not seeing one person make a tackle. You're seeing five, six white helmets come into the ball. It's, it's really nice to see. Well, it brings up second down and four for the Tigers with 7.25 remaining in the first quarter. And the Tigers starting to get a little something going here as they're mixing in that run game left and right. Jake Rose with a big catch now. He's split out to the left side of the field. Barnes, the lone back, two-wing set. Garcia and Wislowski will go in that arc motion. This one goes to Wislowski, met in the backfield. Ooh. And the Bulldogs are here to play some football. Scott Fabrizio. That's, that, that's a real, ooh. Man down. So it looks like there's a player down for the Tigers trying to get a number for you. I'm assuming it's Wislowski as he took the carry. Yep, that's going to be Braden Wislowski shaking up on the play, back down on the field. Not sure if he's cramping up or just took maybe a tough hit. As we saw, about four or five white jerseys in there just really coming to lay in the lumber. Very tough to get a number there, but, it, I mean, Berwick is definitely came to play. Well, you have to mention the kid is Taji Taylor was definitely in on that one again. Taji Taylor, talk about a big kid, 6'3", 200-pound senior. And I'll tell you what, he can really bring it. Talking about bringing it, let's talk about Sheer Colored Studio. <laughs> Specializing in color and cut, providing clients with outstanding salon services with a relaxed atmosphere while performing our craft exceptionally well. Experience life with beautiful color. Sheer Color Studio. We've got the color for you. I would say you need color, but you're, you're losing yours. I just need a little bit of just for men. <laughs> you need a lot. <laughs> You're getting thinner and thinner up there, pal. Seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia in a third and nine situation. Ball is spotted on the 31-yard line of Berwick. Score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Tigers got down here after a beautiful Liam Klebon throw and catch by the senior Jake Rose. So we'll see what they can do here. As they go two split now, you're going to see Toslowski split to the left, Rose to the right. Looks like Garcia, and I, I believe number 22 for Southern is in the game. That's Matt Masala, as Barnes will be the lone back. Klebon looks to pass again. He's got pressure. Screen. A little screen oh. set up, and Barnes drops the pass. So it looked like it set up for a little bit, but I think Berwick was going to sniff that one out from the secondary. And they put a lot of nice pressure on Klebon with the linemen coming in, but they did have their linebackers sitting back. You never know how that's going to play out. Are the linemen going to be able to pick them up? You, you just don't know. Berwick definitely came to play today. Well, the defensive uh, defensive lineup for Berwick, let's meet some of those players. Brought to you by Brian G. Persing Masonry. Taji Taylor, defensive end, Tristan English. Bruce Hartman and Andrew Blockus. Linebackers, Spencer Kishbaugh, Ben Knorr, and Alex Hacker. Tigers now faced with a fourth and nine. Same set, two wing, two receiver. Klebon back. Good He's pressured oh. from the outside, steps up. He's got a little room to run. And klebon has got some room to make a play. He's going to score on this one. 10-5, touchdown. Southern Columbia, as the senior quarterback, Leon Klebon, broke some pressure coming off the edge, and there was just a lane for him to run. That, that, that's really tough because with him scrambling around, the linemen don't want to go downfield because you don't want to have that problem. Oh, illegal linemen downfield, and he club on saw daylight and scored six. That's a heads-up play when the play broke down. The bad part is for Berwick, you had him. You had Southern Columbia once again on their second possession, and Klebon just steps up and makes a nice, a nice athletic play. Excuse me. Looks like the Tigers are going to go for two now. Single wing set is Wislowski to the right. Two backs is Barnes and Garcia. Snap to Klebon. Goes to Garcia to the right side, and he mm -hmm. will punch this one in for a Southern Columbia score. So it's 8 nothing with 6.24 remaining in the first quarter.
look at Southern Columbia High School where the Tigers just punched in their first touchdown of the game, leading in this one 8-0 with 6.24 remaining in the first quarter. Bulldogs getting set to return. The kickoff here back deep for Berwick is going to be number five, Ryan Banks, and number seven, Dre Wilk. Talking with Ryan Banks' parents here before the game, they're real excited for this year. They both kind of had the opportunity to say, I'd love to see this. These schools through the 90s, obviously Berwick having that great run under George Curry. Uh, you know, that started in the 80s and, and, and hit its peak in the 90s. But Southern Columbia, as we know, that, that, that streak still continues as Jim Roth still here with the program. Um, but there's no doubt about it that uh, I think if these two teams would have met back in the 90s, I, I'm pretty sure the place would have been sold out. I would assume so. I don't want to assume, you know, what happens when you assume. But if this game played 94, 96, it would have been standing room only. Absolutely. This one's going to go deep now. Taken by Banks as he's going to come to the right side close to us. Couple nice blocks now and met by, looks like number 16, 16. To, to start the tackles, Mike Zito, and then finished up by the younger Garcia, Garrett Garcia. So Karn will send his offense out for the second time this evening, led by the junior quarterback, Matt Lenshinsky. And some of those starters, again, brought to you by Brian G. Persing Mason. I mean, running back is Aiden Mason. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure he's playing in this one, Scott. I haven't seen him out there yet. Ben Knorr, another great player for the Bulldogs. Tight end, number four, Spencer Kishbaugh. Wide receivers, number seven, Dre Wilk, and number 20, Braden Boone. Offensive line, center, number 65, Bruce Hartman. Right guard, number 60, Trace Shuckers. Left guard, number 78, Liam Carroll. Andrew Blockus at right tackle, and Gavin Cunningham finishes out the line at the left tackle position. Shotgun again will go Lachinsky. Two receivers to his right. Handoff goes again to Banks. He's got room to the outside, room. and Banks might go. Uh -oh. He's off the race. He is over the 50-yard line. Looks like he's brought down right around the 43-yard line. And that awoke these Berwick Bulldogs. These crowds are going wild here. It's great to see. Great to see. And again, that goes back to the blocking. Berwick put some good blocks down and sprung that running back. Well, Banks just got the edge. It was it, there. There was nobody out there, and he he turns on the uh, turns on the old the afterburners. Yeah, the afterburners. I was drawing a blank on that one. That's all right. But you picks do. up a big gain for the Bulldogks. Brings up first and ten with 6:08 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia eight, Berwick zero. Shotgun set again. Will go Lashinsky. Two receivers to the right. Snap is back. This one goes to Banks again to the left side. Picks up a few yards on the play. Brought down by Southern Columbia, number 64. Logan Sharrow. Sharrow making a nice play. 6'3", 190-pound junior. So Berwick now starting to move the ball a little bit. Brings up second down and eight. But what's nice to see, Scott, is that that, that Berwick offensive line is getting a push. And I think Southern Columbia right now is um, kind of kind of at a little bit of a stalemate here defensively as compared to last year we saw him kind of bull over a lot of the teams. I'm really enjoying, Sean, watching the, this matchup between this Zayden Unger and Derek Berlitz. It's just going back and forth. Ooh, Lachinsky tries to throw the slant pass to Wilk and that was a little scary as four black jerseys converted on the ball. And speak of them, there he, go, there he goes, 87, put some pressure on there. I'm not, Derek Berlitz. We're not even referring to the animal yet until it comes out. It's still... It's still there. So bringing up third down and eight for the Bulldogs with 5-12 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia eight, Berwick zero. As Carm sends back out Lenshinsky, his junior quarterback. Love hearing the band too. Just who's so a nice know. sized kid, Scott. We lost, we watched Lenshinsky warmed up. The kid has an arm. He can, he can really play the position as he'll split Wilk out now to the right side. Double slot set with that tight wing. Snap is back, Lachinsky quick out to Wilk, and that one's just way over his head. A lot of As pressure there. A lot of pressure from Berlitz. Jake Rhodes coming in on with the jump. It was like he was dunking a basketball. Probably well, it looks like Carm's going to send out the punt team, try to pin the, the Tigers deep for their third possession of the evening as they fumbled on the opening possession, scored on their second possession on a great play by quarterback Leon Klebon. 
with the pocket, the pocket collapse, he was able to make a big play, scatter for a touchdown. Garcia punched in the two-point conversion. So we'll see what Berwick does here as Garcia is the deep back to return the punt. It looks Short like he's going to let this one bounce, and he'll he's take it. it. Oh. And he's met by a host of Bulldogs right around the eight-yard line of Southern Columbia. So Klebon comes back out for their third possession of the evening, and we'll see if Southern can get some rhythm going with this with this offense. Berwick de definitely is maintaining their momentum. They're not letting, you know, it's the old bend, don't break. They're down eight points, but there's no, no, doubt, no heads hanging low, nothing like that. They're keeping this energy. The fans are keeping them going. It's, and again, it's a great band. Well, you got a six foot three Taji Taylor, uh, six foot one Bruce Hartman, and Andrew Block is coming at six foot one, 215 pounds on that defense, uh, the defensive line. Tristan English coming in at a buck 85. I'll tell you what, these guys are holding their weight as Southern comes out, two wing set. Barnes, the lone back, piling up that line there. This one is going to go to Garcia as he takes it Ooh. to the left side, brought down nice in tackle. the backfield. I think that's Wilk again, number seven. That was a great tackle coming in there. Dre Wilk showing his speed off the backside edge and bringing down Garcia for a loss. Brings up second down and 14 with 434 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia eight, Berwick zero. Tigers in the huddle in unfamiliar territory inside their own 10 yard line. Second down and 15. I'll tell you one thing, Sean, that son of a butcher down there Smells delicious. Tigers now two wings set. Lone back will be Barnes. Kleb on under center. Motion will go with Slosky. He takes this one off the left side, and he's got some he room. Got some and room. that could be daylight. That's uh -oh. going to be Gonzo, Scott. He's too well, fast. We'll cut. Nope. With Slosky, 30, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. The All-State track sprinter, Braden with Slosky, takes this one about 93 yards for a Southern Columbia touchdown as that makes the score 15 to zero. I'm, so, I'm sorry, 14 to zero. Excuse me, I got ahead of myself. You, f I know you, f you struggled in school, but you simple math. Yeah, I got ahead of myself. 14 to zero, Braden Wislowski was injured early in the game. But I'll tell you what. I think, I think it was just a cramp. That, yeah, just you're cramp. seeing that speed from Wislowski. He just outran the whole secondary of Berwick. Well, I, I believe that's Chad's fault. He was supposed to turn the air conditioner on earlier, and he never did. And it's just, it's too hot. It's too hot. So Southern now looking like they're going to go for two once again. Braden Wislowski breaks off a 93-yard touchdown carry for the Tigers. Southern breaks the huddle now. Looks like they're going to go single back set. I'm sorry, two back set with Barnes and Wislowski. Garcia the wing right. Play action to Barnes. He's got Garcia. That is up and good. Garcia catches that one in the end zone to make it 16 to nothing Southern Columbia with 3.53 remaining in the first quarter. Hi, I'm Patty Tejera. I graduated from Colonel Brennan in 1976 and we represent the North Google School District. Chris Lanina, 2001 graduate of Shemokin Area High School. Jonathan Ellis, Mount Carmel Area High School, class of 99. I'm Tracy Mowry. I graduated from Shemokin Area High School in 1982. Casey Savitsky, Southern Columbia High School, Class of 2012. Brad Clubon, Clubon Insurance Group, supporting our local high schools and our community for decades. Back at Southern Columbia where the Tigers lead in this one 16-0 with 3.53 remaining in the first quarter. As Braden with Slo excuse me, with Slosky broke for a 93-yard touchdown scamper. And I think I'm seeing this correctly. Liam, Liam Klebon's gonna kick this one off. Yep. As Wilk nice kick. and Banks are back deep. This one's gonna be taken by looks like number eight, Tajay Taylor, the big six foot three defensive end. And he is smacked by a host of Tigers leading that charge as number 30 for Southern Columbia, Ryan Kerstetter. Looks like the ball's gonna be spotted right on the 16-yard line, I believe. Nice tackle by Kerstetter. Probably picked it up from his brother, Wade. Scott, if you're looking for someone dependable and reliable to help complete those home repairs you've been putting off, or do you need a hand with fall landscaping or just leave cleanup? Could you just use a little help around the house? Contact Blaine at Bear Hollow Home Maintenance. Connect on Facebook or call 570-274-7385. 
That's Bear Hollow Home Maintenance for all your home maintenance needs. Carm sends out that offense once again, led by the quarterback, Matt Lachinski. He's going to send a tight trips to the wide side of the field. Single receiver to the right is going to be Wilk. Motion. Banks takes the snap. Quick hit to Wilk to the flats. Nice block That's by real. Taylor. Nice pick up there. Nice pick up. So you see just a little, a little hitch route or just a little tunnel screen where you have the motion man kicking out the corner and you have some linemen coming out to the flats. That play worked out real nice on a first down play to pick up seven yards. So Berwick now faced with a second down and three with 3.20 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia 16, Berwick zero. And Lenchinski looks a little confused on the play call. Nice to see the fans back at Tiger Stadium. Hearing the cowbell, the old uh, horn, I forget what that thing's called. Same set again for Berwick, trips to the wide side lone. This one goes to Banks, and he's met the backfield by the defense, number 54, Carson Servitsky. Senior captain there, Carson Servitsky. Doing a great job coming up, making a big tackle in the backfield. It's going to bring up third down. Call it six yards with 240 remaining in the first quarter. Scott, I think right now Berwick needs to give Lenshinsky time. I don't want to sound simple, but I think this kid has an arm that he can throw the football, but there's too much pressure coming off the edge. You can't get a clear pocket to throw. When, when a quarterback can't set his feet, really see, let the play develop, he gets rushed. What happens when he gets rushed? Mistakes happen. So now you see Berwick split Wilk out to the wide side. He'll be the top receiver, top of your screen. Lenchinski again, here comes the pressure. And Heavy pressure. Met by a host of Tigers. Get some numbers on this for you. I see 28, I see Burlitz. I uh, get a number 28, Trevin, Trevor Yorks. Boy, we're starting to see the strength of that defensive front. Fabrizio starting to dominate now for Southern Columbia. And, and that's a very tough, tough thing. A lot of guys for Southern, they play one way. You've seen a lot of people from Burwick playing both ways. What happens with that? You get tired. These fans aren't tired, I'll well, tell you I'll that. tell you what, it's never too early to start investing in your future. And we know just the guys that can help. Why Tovagen with Slosky Investment Group provide financial investment and insurance needs as they help you move towards your retirement. Give them a call, 570-648-6061. This one's going to go, looks like, to with Slosky, who's going to let it bounce. Bounce again and not going to take this one as it will be picked up by number 34 of Berwick, Tristan English. Southern Columbia will take over on the Berwick 48-yard line with 119 remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia 16, Berwick 0. Cigars and cigar accessories. Stop down and enjoy our indoor or outdoor seating on 8th Street in Shemokin. Get 10% off your entire order by using the discount code. Got it. Gottigers, limit one. Go Tigers, one. <laughs> well, there was no space between That's, It's a promo code. Go Tigers, limit one per customer. <laughs> That's terrible. Limit one per customer, okay. Online only. <laughs> ship, oh, the ship live. Picked up. Visit BreakerCigars.com. Okay. You want to try that one again? Gottigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> We're in the Breaker Cigar Box. Go Tigers. That was a good one. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. You know, Sean, you're, everybody's getting a chance to see us here in the booth. Do you want to talk about these uh, sweet shirts we got? You know, Scott, that is a great thing to, uh, to bring up. I want to thank Academy Sports for hooking us up with some great gear this year. These awesome polos. They got Get us some here, Southern here. Columbia gear with their hats. Uh, just really some, some nice stuff. I'm telling you, get up there. Check out Academy Sports up in Mount Carmel. They're the real deal. They have everything you need uh, for back to school, clothes shopping, sports gear, anything. You name it. Check out Academy Sports up in Mount Carmel. Thanks to them for hooking us up once again with this great gear. As the Tigers now will play action again. Klebon, he's got some. Nope, he's going to be met. Oh, he's still on his feet. Spins off the tackle by number. We got, we got four, nine, eight. So number four, Spencer Kishbaugh, number eight. I don't, Number eight, Taji Taylor. I didn't see a nine. Is there a nine in there? I, I don't have a nine on the call sheet, but yeah. let's just call it a host of Bulldogs were in there. Klebon almost made another athletic play from that quarterback position, but yeah. Berwick too much there as the Bulldogs were able to bring him down with 46 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Southern Columbia 16, Berwick zero. 
Second down and 18 now for the Tigers as Toslowski split out wide to the right. Garcia is the wing back to the left. Handoff goes inside, reverse to Garcia. He's got room to the outside, to the right. Couple blocks, cuts back to the outside, still on his feet. Garcia over the 40-yard line, brought down just around the 33-yard line of Berwick. Looks like we got some laundry on the field. And there is a flag down. A little extracurricular. So Roth going back to that patent at Southern Columbia inside reverse. Looks like the call's going against the Tigers. Little extracurricular activities there in the back. Scott, I don't want to forget to mention the secondary of go, Berwick, number six, go, Rowan Slabinski, number 20, Braden Boom, Dre Wilk at the safety position along with Bo Sheptock. And, I, and we, we do have to say uh, to the Berwick fans, we do not have a number nine on our roster, and we apologize for that. We don't know who number nine is. But I'll ask Well, whoever he is, he just made a great play. Great play, great play. I didn't see the call, Scott. I was I was looking down at our call sheet. I didn't see it. Was it was it a block in the back? It was a little extracurricular. You could say, you know, somebody was giving them the business. Okay, so it brings up second down and 31 for Southern with 13 seconds remaining now. Two wings, two receiver set. Barnes the lone back. Motion will go with Slosky. This one given to Slosky. Jet sweep, room to the outside. Breaks off a tackle, still on his feet, and met by a host of Bulldogs, number two, number two on the tackle, Bo Sheptock and number eight, there's that kid again, Taji Taylor. He's having a great game for Berwick. You know, Carm talked about him when we spoke this week and, and he said, Taji not only a great player, but a nice leader on the team. And he said, look, look for this kid to make plays and I'll tell you what, he wasn't lying. So that's the end of the first quarter, Southern Columbia 16, Berwick zero. Carpets. Upholstery, tile and grout, so fresh, so clean. The Don't you think you're being a little over dramatic? Oh yeah, probably, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Best cleaners, call today to get clean. 570-672-9114. Brian, my water just broke. What? I'm having this baby. What do we do? We call 911? No. You call Tim. What? You call Tim. Hawkins Chevrolet Service, this is Tim. Tim, I'm having the baby. Okay, take a couple slow, deep breaths for me. Yeah. All right, Brian. How about some blankets? We're gonna need some to deliver this baby. Blankets? Where's the blankets? Brian, you are worthless. All right, Julia. On the next contraction, I'm gonna need you to push for me. Tim, it's a boy! It's a boy! Fantastic. Well done. And don't forget to give me a call in a couple weeks because your Silverado is gonna be due for an oil change soon. Thanks, Thanks Tim. Tim. Hawk and Chevrolet, we're here when you need us. These guys are good. Hawkins Chevrolet. Back to start second quarter action, Southern Columbia 16, Berwick 0. Scott, I want to make sure I give a special shout out and say hello to my daughter Cameron, who's at home watching, and of course my wife Joelle, who is getting ready to have our second child. I lost the bet, Sean. My bet was uh, you were not making this game. That you're gonna, yeah. Joel's well, gonna go in the labor. Chad has second quarter right now. Dylan and is on third with Ethan in fourth. Oh, okay. A little bet going. I told, bar. I told Allie, I said, Saturday morning, honey. Saturday morning. Tigers now two wing set, two receivers split. Klebon looks again to pass, stays in the pocket. He's Good got, time. He's got Rose, Rose again, Ooh. just outside the reach of senior wide receiver Jake Rose. Great protection there by Southern's offensive line. They really let him set his feet and throw. Boy, a nice job by Klebon stepping up into the pocket, setting his feet, and just out of the reach of that, uh, the hands of Jake Rose. So it's going to bring up third down and 22 for the Tigers as they lead in this one 16-0 in the second quarter if you're just tuning in. It's really tough I'm sorry, to... fourth and 22. I was reading the scoreboard. It was delayed. I'm sorry. It's fourth down and 22. 
It's really tough to throw overthrow Jake Rhodes with his speed, but it happens. Looks like number nine on this one. Klebon again punts this one away to Wilk, and Wilk. Good tackle by number 16 for the Tigers. Mike Zito's really having a nice game on special teams. Great open field tackle, solo tackle as well. Carm's going to send the troops back out once again as they trail 16 to 0. And so far, Scott, I just have to say it. I think Berwick's playing a tough football game. They didn't, they didn't hold their heads or hang their heads after a big 93-yard touchdown scamper by Wislowski. Berwick's showing a lot of, a lot of uh, potential, a lot of confidence coming in. They're a team that definitely didn't get intimidated by these Southern Tigers. They're, they're here to play. You know, I, that, I think that's a credit to Coach Carm Francesco. Everywhere he's been, he brings energy and he gets the kids to buy in. Gets, a, gets them excited, that's what you need, a little passion right there. Bulldogs now will come out under center, will go Lynchinski, I, I set slot to the left. We'll shift now to a power look. They're gonna go off tackle. And a great tackle by Garrett Garcia from that middle linebacker position. Not sure if he got anything on that one, Scott Fabrizio. But with over 40 years experience, Mar development, heating and cooling is able to tackle any of your residential or commercial HVAC needs. For repair, installation, maintenance, and 24-hour emergency service, call Mar, Mar Development Heating and Cooling or reach them online at mardevelopmenthvac.com. Sean, we got a lot of, a lot of some new things this year coming at you with uh, Stone State Sports. I'll get to them right after this play. I said again for the Bulldogs, slot to the wide side. Wilk will be the split receiver. Lachinsky under center. Handoff's gonna go to Banks again as he's met right at the line of scrimmage. 64 there for the Tigers coming in. Logan Sharrow having a nice eight, nice game, putting his head down. You know, what? you gotta give credit to Banks. He's 5'7", 150 pound junior running back who stepped in this evening and uh, had some big carries for the Bulldogs and right now he's starting to meet that defense in front of the Tigers. Absolutely. One of the things I wanna to touch base on real quick here, coming up third quarter, doing some different stuff this year. Third quarter, we're gonna bring one of the legends from Southern Columbia, Nate Rodarmel. Bringing him into the booth, a little interview, see how things are going. Yep, Just Nate will be joining us here at halftime. Bulldogs will come out in a trip set now to the wide side, Lenchinski in the gun. Snap is back, he looks, he's got Good time. Pressure. Underneath Ooh. crossing route to Wilk is incomplete as Lenchinski had to throw from his back foot and threw it behind Wilk, who Probably maybe would have picked up a few yards, but I think Southern would have tackled him right away as soon as he caught it. So Carm now is forced to punt once again, fourth and 10 with 10-12 remaining in the second quarter. Southern Columbia 16, Berwick zero. Just another thing we're gonna add in here too this year, we got going, we got the Instagram page up. Ethan, our camera guy, is doing a great job managing that. So if you can get on Instagram, Stone State Sports, give us a like, see some nice pictures from the game. Great stuff, Ethan's doing a great job. Wilk gets this one off to Garcia, takes it just over the 30 yard line. Cuts back, he's got some got, blockers got across the field. Cuts back inside, still back to the outside. Garcia on his feet and here he goes. The 50, the 45, the 40. On his feet to the 35, the 30. Garcia still Cuts on his feet, feet to the 25. Holding on. The 20, the 15, 10, oh, up. five. Touchdown, Touchdown, Southern Columbia's Gavin wow. Garcia takes this one. That was a nice run. And I'm out of breath for how many times he spun and should have been tackled. At one point, two Southern Tigers collided with each other. Gavin Garcia, the senior running back, takes this one to the house for about, let's call it 60 yards. <laughs> as I'm sure he needs to go over and sit down, he's probably not sure where he's at right now, as he spun about 54 times. What an incredible return. That makes it 22 to zero, Southern Columbia with 9.46 remaining in the second quarter. Bulldogs still holding their heads high. I mean, this is what Garcia does. We said it last year. Last year, he made so many of those plays. I mean, I'm not criticizing anybody, but if I'm an opposing team against Southern Columbia, punt the ball out of bounds. I, I, you know what, Sean? I'm going to disagree there. I, I, I think Burwick's showing great uh, fight and great heart in this game, and, and they're, they're, they're going right after him. It's, it's great to see. Well, toss sweep to Barnes is good, but there is a flag on the play. Some laundry. It is on Southern Columbia. I believe a block in the back. Okay. The ref's really not facing us. So. Yeah, he's facing the home press box. He doesn't know. 
He doesn't know about us. So this one's going to be re... It'll be a redo. As Klebon comes back out on the field, but there's a little bit of confusion. I'm not sure if they might try to kick this one. There's a timeout on the field. Roth will come out and talk to the troops. Southern Columbia 22, Berwick 0, 946 remaining in the second quarter. Sean, another neat thing that we talk, I talked earlier with Chad to do, we did a lot of the check-ins last year, showing us where you're watching from. Post, post the picture. We're setting a goal this year. Our goal is to cover all 50 states. So get up on the Facebook page. Chad's going to put a post out there. I'm just adding more work for him to do. And show us where you're watching from. Let's try to get all 50 states. We want Stone State all over the U.S. of A. Yeah, that's great stuff. What am I doing? You're posting, like we talked about earlier, saying our goal is 50 states. Well, you said it, not me. Hi. Well, Scott, if you're looking for any type of color in your hair, check out Sheer Color Studio, specializing in color and cut, providing clients with outstanding salon services with a relaxed atmosphere while performing our craft exceptionally well. Experience life with beautiful color. Sheer Color Studio. We've got the color for you. Tigers now break the huddle. We'll go two receiver set to Slosky and, and Rose split to each side. Barnes the lone back. Snap is back to Klebon. He looks to his left, steps up. He's got Rose. And that's going to be a completed two-point conversion for the Tigers. Rose even had a little toe drag swag there. I think he had two feet in. 24-0, Southern Columbia, 946 remaining in the second quarter. Great food. Great drinks. Casual dining elegance. The Nickel Plate Bar and Grill at Knoebel's Three Ponds Golf Course. Route 487, Healysburg. Head to the Nickel Plate Bar and Grill Wednesdays after 4 o'clock. It's six bucks build a burger with chips and a pickle. Only at the Nickel Plate Bar and Grill. Back in the campus of Southern Columbia where they lead in this one 24-0 with 9.46 remaining. Klebon going to kick off to the deep backs. I think it's going to be Banks. And I'm seeing a different number. I, th I, I, I think that's number nine again. I just don't have a number on him. Or I'm sorry, a name on him. We have the number. The number's on the back of the right. jersey. But you are seeing a very athletic Berwick, Bo uh, Berwick Bulldog football team. They have some nice size coming off the edge in Taji Taylor. They got some speed in Wilk as we saw him make a few plays in the backfield this evening. This one's going to go to, looks like number nine. I'm sorry, that's five. That's Banks. Banks takes this one over the 20-yard line, brought down around the 22-yard line. He's having a nice game. Nice so that game. is Banks. That's Ryan Banks. He's having a nice game. So the Bulldogs will take over on their own 22-yard line as they trail in this one 24-0 with 9.39 remaining in the second quarter. Got some uh, interesting scores coming in here. North Schuylkill 7, Mount Carmel 0, Line Mountain 3, Juniana 0, Danville 13, Mifflinburg 7. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, some scores from around the area, folks. Don't forget, tomorrow, Shimokan area takes on the Green Dragons of Lewisburg live from Kent Memorial Stadium at 3 p.m. Bring them back to Saturday games. You got to love it. I'm going to try to get out there and support those Indians on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, high of 74 it's gonna be degrees hot. tomorrow. Shotgun will go. Lachinsky, two receivers to his right to the short side. This one goes to Banks off tackle. He cuts back. Nice run by Banks as he picks up a few yards, maybe call it three to four yards on the carry. One of the nice things to see there, he came through that ball, two, or came, came through that hole with two hands on the ball. Ball security, nice to see. Brings up second down and six for the Bulldogs. And right now, Southern Columbia doing a great job of not letting Lynchinski, who's a good quarterback, really set his feet and try to open up the air attack. It comes down to the line. Defensive line for Southern is causing pressure. Berwick line is doing the best they can to hold them. And, I, and so far, I think they're doing pretty good. So we'll see slot receivers to the right again. Lone back is Banks. This one goes to Banks again, off tackle to the left, and brought down backside is... There he is, number 32 again, Dominic Fedorov. Coming in for the freshman. Coming in from that linebacker position, making a great play backside. And you know what's so great about that play, Scott Fabrizio, is he still has gap responsibility. So he comes right down the line, doesn't vacate his gap, pursues backside, makes a great play. 
Going to bring up third down and eight for the Bulldogs with 8.29 remaining. Carm now trying to get something going here, trying to pick up a crucial first down. Southern Columbia 24, Berwick 0. And right now I think you're trying to think clock management. You know, if you can hold on here, down 24 nothing, go into halftime, uh, I think it's a little bit different mindset from 31 or 38 nothing. Absolutely. So we'll see Lashinsky go in the shotgun set. This is a spread look with the tight wing. Pressure. He looks pressure again, steps up, pump fakes, and he's going to be brought down mm. at the 15-yard line. And just a host of Tigers coming off the edge, coming Trevor from Yorks, everywhere. Nice play, nice pursuit. Trevor York coming in there. Pressure from Rose. Scott, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure if anybody has blocked Derek Burlitz all night. I mean, the kid is just an absolute animal out there. Coming in this year, his senior year, he put some massive size on. He looks great, 6'2", 245 pounds, and he has just been a force to be reckoned with on that southern defensive line. So now we'll see the punt return again of Garcia and Barnes. Garcia had a 60-yard return on his last punt return. This one's going to be punted, like I said, out of bounds, right around the 41-yard line. Scott, we don't want to forget to mention our camera guys this evening who do a great job for us. Uh, Ethan and Dylan, Ethan Rowan and Dylan Kramer. Those guys are managing the camera, so if you're friends with those guys, give them a little tweet or a shout out, whatever you do, because they work hard. They do a great job setting all the gear up before the game. We really appreciate them as part of our Stone State family. Tigers will take over with 7.07 remaining in the second quarter, 24-0 Southern lead. The Stone State family is just growing every week. It's great to see a community coming together to support us like they do. Whether you're, you're at the grocery store, you're getting gas.